Hello fellow Fallout 4 SLI gamers. I'm here to show you my configuration that I'm using um, that gives me pretty good frames um, with my SLI cards. So to begin, we're going to restore all of the defaults within your current NVIDIA drivers, okay? Um, and this is especially important for those that have, you been, that have been hacking the inspector um, in order to tweak it to get SLI to work correctly. So first step, is to go down here to your taskbar and go to your control panel, which may or may not be there, but we're going to NVIDIA control panel. Then we're going to manage 3D settings. And then we're going to Fallout 4 and we're clicking restore. That's it. Okay, so just do that. Then go to NVIDIA inspector. If you don't have it, just Google it and download it. Go ahead and launch it. Um, this is a cool tool that will show you, you know, all the stats on your SLI cards. You can see I've got zero and one. That's my two cards. We're going to click on this icon here that will launch the profiles. And this is another thing that you probably already messed with. Uh, we're going to go type Fallout, and you'll see the three fallouts there. Go to Fallout 4, hit Tab, and we're going to click on this little button that restores the current profile and hit Apply. So the main reason for doing this is just to get back to a baseline, to reset everything and have a clean slate. Um, the next step is going to be installing the latest game ready drivers. So you guys go ahead and do this, make sure it's a clean install. Don't freak out if your monitor goes black, it's probably gonna restart the computer and everything will, will come back online and working. Okay, so we'll reconvene after this is done. So after two annoying reboots, I'm back to where I was previously. So the first thing we need to do, which I'm sure you guys already know, is enable SLI. So we're going to go right into the control panel. Um, and by default, whenever you reinstall drivers, it's going to disable SLI. I'm going to click this little button here and apply. Okay, the screen's going to go black. It's going to make a weird noise. And then it's going to come back in. And you'll see that that green band underneath your video cards. All right, now that we've enabled SLI on our system, we're gonna move to the NVIDIA control panel again, and we're gonna make sure in the control panel that the 3D settings uh, SLI visual indicator is enabled. So click that. Okay, let's uh, jump over to manage 3D settings, and we'll go to Fallout 4 again. We're gonna scroll down, and make sure you have prefer maximum performance for power management mode and also vertical sync set to adaptive so you can read down here what it says for adaptive but basically it only enables the vertical sync functionality when the frames are above the monitor's refresh rate so in my case I don't care about frames that are above 144 because my monitor can't do anything with them. I won't experience them, I won't have any benefit from them. So I turned adaptive on, so the game is still as fast as it possibly can be when it comes to rendering the video until it reaches 144, then it will start uh, capping it, so to speak, capping those frames. Um, so other than this, let's go into the NVIDIA inspector again. I'll uh, we'll go into Profiles again. And there's just one other thing I wanted to show you in here. If you go back to the Fallout 4 profile, and wait for this to load, okay, and scroll down to the SLI portion. I did change my SL, SLI GPU count to two. Uh, sorry, um, but the, the reason I did that is because I have to. Um, and for whatever reason, it seemed to perform better rather than being on auto select. Um, I don't know why. This may just be um, hocus pocus uh, or a rumor, but I'm seeing a lot of people that are doing this and manually setting the SLI to the amount of count to the count of GPUs that they have, which for me is two. So that's the only thing that I changed in the Fallout 4 profile that was shipped 
um, in this NVIDIA game ready driver. Okay, so just hit apply. Okay, now we're going to go into the Fallout 4 config tool.exe and we're going to check some things, we're going to change some values, but let me just explain first what most of this means. Um, most of these settings are for a 1080p monitor or 1080p configuration. So these XY coordinates you see here, the heading, all of this has to do with a 1080p configuration. So you can change that if you've got a 144p or if you have a 4K. Um, uh, the field of view over here, I like 110, some people like 90, some people like 95, totally up to you. Um, the big thing here is to uncheck the frame rate lock. Um, that's very important for SLI configurations. Um, I also disabled some of these other things, that's kind of up to you, but unchecking frame rate lock, you have to do that if you want to see frames of over 60. Um, and this tool, all it's doing is going into the INI files um, that Fallout 4 provides and changing them for you. So it's, it's pretty handy in that way. If you go into performance, you're going to want to make sure that um, enable uh, depth of field is unchecked and click save. Uh, these other values should already be unchecked, um, but if they're not, get rid of the God rays and this other light feature. Um, set your cores to the maximum so it's using as much power as it can. And go ahead and leave this unchecked for now. Um, you can click save again if you'd like. Okay, now we're going to go into Fallout 4. So we're going to go into Fallout 4 options and we're going to click Ultra. All right. Then we're going to go into Advanced and we're going to go to God Rays and we're going to set it to Off and we're going to go into depth of field and set it to low. Um, everything else is going to remain at ultra. Okay. Now I guess I could have gone into this first and then went into this configuration tool, but I decided to do it backwards. So you can not make that mistake. Um, I'm just going to go in here and, and make sure that that's unchecked again. And then finally I'm going to set my readme to read only. So now um, you would have to either come back into this tool and manually um, make it read-write, that INI file, um, because now if I made changes within options and Fallout, uh, they won't save. So now my settings are saved. I've optimized um, Fallout 4 for SLI by unlocking the frames. All right, so now we can continue. All right, guys, so I just loaded a game. I'm in the open world. Um, I seem to be getting... 100 at most, sometimes it'll dip into the 60s, but usually 70s or 80s or 90s is, is the open world with this SLI workaround. So um, you may not see my SLI indicator on my screen, but I assure you it is definitely on on my screen for whatever reason. Bandy, Bandy cam is not capturing it, but it's there. So as you can tell from the frames, it's not like you have to see it. So we're going to go inside an instance, and I expect this to be right near 144, pretty consistently. Um, as you can see, it does appear to be that way. So, okay. um... That's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. Yeah, this seems to have fixed the problem. Um, definitely watch out for the, uh, the next set of game-ready drivers, hopefully... NVIDIA and Bethesda have worked together to address this more permanently so you're not having to hack stuff so so much. But anyway, this seems to work. I hope it works for you. Um, good luck and have fun.